So we're back here at Little Tiny Lake. And the other day, I mean, we swam this lake and we didn't see any fish, but then we built our dock and we saw fish. So I'd already purchased this dissolved oxygen kit, ChemMets kit, and this little doctor meter pH tester. So I'm gonna go around, I'm gonna hit a bunch of different little lakes and ponds uh, on our property. And uh, this one here, uh, where we have our little lease and then we have another lease and we're gonna go and check out all those just to see, you know, compare water quality, compare pH. And then we'll look up some uh, stats online or some uh, information on what kind of fish like what kind of water. It's kind of new to us, so when I do things to learn, I might as well just pass that on. So we're going to try, let's test the pH first. Put that right there. Now this is the doctor meter pH 100 meter tester. You have to calibrate this thing when you first buy it, and I've done that already. So it's more or less ready to go. I have no idea what the pH would be like in here, but let's just check it out. Move that around a little bit. I know the water's very clear. And you just basically wait until it stabilizes. Maybe what I'll do is, you know, because this, I, I'm pretty sure I saw bluegill and bass in here. So I'm, I'll, I'll put little footnotes of what kind of pH and what kind of uh, dissolved oxygen the, those fish like. That's 7.66 uh, with a water temperature of 24.7 degrees, 24.8 degrees. Now, from what I'm told, bass like anything kind of under, well, largemouth will go warmer. Trout don't like 25 degrees, uh, I think that's pretty much when they're not going to make it. 7.65 to 24.8. Now this is a pretty cool little kit. I tried it once. And uh, it works very well. You have your little measuring cup. You put 20 mils in. It was 20 mils, eh, Kai? Yeah, 25. So you, there's the instructions of what to do. You can get, I think, 30 tests out of this kit. So you fill that up to the 25 mil mark, and then you use one of these little ampules in here. And this is going to tell us what our dissolved oxygen content is. So fish need oxygen and water to live, to survive. And then we just, we will compare the colors of this fluid with that. We're supposed to take our sample about a foot below the surface. Okay. 25 mils. Just take this little gizmo and it's vacuumed, vacuum sealed in there. It's going to suck up that water. See that? just break the tip off there's a little channel you put the tip in all right we had problems with our cameras we had to switch cameras I don't know how that looks to you but there are fish in here so so that gives us an idea of what our dissolved oxygen is like Leave that there and I discarded that at home we had problems with our other camera but uh, Hopefully we got most of that stuff. We'll take a look at the water temperature. So it looks like it's about 28, uh, so it looks like it's about 24 degrees or what's that? 24 is 70, 76 degrees. Now I'm gonna go and check out some other ponds and other lakes. We'll do this over the course of a couple of days and uh, we'll see what we're dealing with. Kind of a, a lesson in wildlife and fish biology, right? Right now, on to the next one. Found this beautiful little spot a few years ago. And this is a little pond that flows in from a bigger marsh area. But I know this is deep because I was trapping here one winter and I fell through the ice and I didn't touch the bottom. And as you can see, there's really no weeds out there. And it drops to the next little pond, which goes into another pond. I'm gonna say a good 15 feet 
So, you know, you take a few blowouts of that dam right there, it flushes everything out through this little valley and it's probably a pretty deep section. No idea if that could support fish. No idea at all. But, why don't we check the oxygen? We'll check everything. See what kind of system we're dealing with. You can see it turning blue. see the difference between the first pond and the second pond. Now there's really no water movement through this one at all and we're at the very top of the of the mountain here so we're really not going to get anything other than rainwater. If we take a look at these. This actually isn't too bad. You guys tell me if you can see that. Looks like it's about three and a half. Hmm. Looks like it's about four, four parts per million or um, four milligrams per liter. And the pH is about seven. As a kid, I always wanted a, my own pond that I could put my own fish in. Maybe this one might work. We'll go home and we'll look at the numbers and we'll see how this one does. But we're gonna head up to the main kind of lake and we'll see what what it looks like now. It doesn't look very good in the summer. It looks uh, like a bit of a war zone, but we'll go check it out. Six point six two. Lots of tannins in here from the rotting vegetation. We're gonna test this in the winter too and see how this looks. From my eye. In there somewhere. So I've come down here in the winter and I've drilled holes with the ice auger and all I really get is dirt. <laughs> dirt and some kind of marsh goo. Um, and that's the deepest place that I thought I could find. But um, that must be just rotting vegetation. Usually all these stumps and all that stuff you see out there isn't there. But at the hottest point of the summer, all that stuff just rises up. Of course, this was all just forest at one point, And the beavers dammed it up. There are fence lines that go right through here. When this used to be basically pasture land. You can see our wood duck box right out there. I put that up years ago. Where is it? The wood ducks lay their eggs in there and then they leave the nest when they're old enough. Just for fun, we've got this really nice little lake here. We're going to try and see what the dissolved water, the dissolved oxygen content here is. To sort of compare it to the pond that we've been playing with, right? We'll start our two minute timer. That is more alkaline. Somewhere in there? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Yeah. So five to six. So a little bit less than what we were dealing with. Pretty interesting. Pretty cool. Same thing. Well, there you go. So if you're curious, I mean, it's not like every lake. Every lake's a little different, of course. But uh, we know what our little lake is like, and it does support fish. We'll have to check it out in the winter too. And apparently the dissolved oxygen content goes down in the evening as well because the, you know, all the plant life in there is uh, emitting 
oxygen, right? Uh, photo, through photosynthesis. I'm no super wildlife biologist or environmental biologist, or whatever you want to call it. Um, but that's what happens during the day. The plants in the water release oxygen, and in the evening they consume oxygen. So if you took this test in the evening or at night, you'd be a lower oxygen content. Very cool. Uh, we'll have to go and check out uh, what kind of fish are in our lake, do some fishing there, and we'll report back. Maybe have a little snack. <laughs>